Hi, welcome to the Lighthouse of Awesome. I'm Michael. Today we're talking about Augustine's School in Carthage, the third book of the Confessions. So, Augustine goes to Carthage at the behest of his father and mother to study, um, essentially, rhetoric, Greek, and other specialties that he's going to get rich by, by his observation. And so the first thing he talks about is his quest for love and the love of loving. He hops in, um, and most of his descriptions are ambiguous for the most part. He talks about how love is jealousy and suspicion and all those young love, like, does she like me, does she not like me type of things. And then he goes into talking about plays and how he really had a uh, catharsis, which I find amusing given the city that he was in, of just crying and letting go. And he says that, you know, doing horrible things yourself is a misery, but watching other people is a mercy. And he really gets an enjoyment out of seeing these plays and how the characters love and are torn apart and basically classical drama and dives into it. It's not clear what his relationship is with the church. His mother, um, definitely Christian. His father um, dies and he's kind of just like, oh yeah, my mom paid for this when he's talking about Circio's rhetoric. And uh, my dad's been dead for two years, just by the way. So it sounds like his, um, he had gone to Carthage and not been in much communication with his parents and eventually found out that like, oh yeah, dad had passed away not soon, not long after their trip to the baths together where his father recommended that he start making children. So during this period, he isn't a big Christian, but he's still going to church. He says, once made bold to indulge in carnal desire and conduct during the celebration of your sacred mysteries, which I take to be that he was uh, macking it in the back of the church during the service. And he's very graphic and taking various views on things. And eventually he does get to Circio's um, books, which we've lost to modernity, but seems to be some sort of book on rhetoric. And he talks about how he wants to be a, likes the philosophy that Circio was talking about more so than the actual rhetoric lesson that Circio was trying to teach in the book. After that, Augustine becomes a Manichaean for about nine years. It's a dualist religion based on a guy named Manny from Persia area. And it was strong in the Book of Enoch, uh, which I kind of hopped into and was interested in. It's part of the Jewish pseudopographia. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. And it's basically, um, there's two books of Enoch. And the first is um, basically God saying to Enoch, hey, talk to the angels about all this stuff they're doing with the human ladies that are making giants. And then goes on to more informational stuff about the angels and all this information. And the second uh, book of Enoch uh, goes into other the heavens and stuff like that. So he's a McCain for nine years, and in typical convert fashion, talks crap about his own religion, old old religion, uh, which wasn't that different from. Christianity, however, it had fallen out of favor with the empire just a couple of years before his convert, about the time of his conversion to Christianity. So 
He was just kind of like, ah, good time to leave. And <laughs> that's what he did. Um, but we're not to that part yet. At this point, his mother is all worried about him and has a lucid dream about a wooden ruler that is balancing and allow and goes to speak to some church elder who says that Augustine is unteachable at this moment and he just has to kind of work through it. And that's where the the chapter or book leaves off and the next book will be on those nine years as a, a Manichaean. Thank <laughs> you.